Hi, this is Paul with Price of Admission here with Daryl, Eric, and Ryan. And we're here right now to talk about the upcoming summer blockbuster action movies that we're looking most forward to seeing. Welcome, guys. First off, we're going to start out with Mad Max Fury Road. I want them back! They're my property! Alright, so the trailer for this movie looks completely insane. Mm, yeah. It's, that it does. <laughs> yes. I can, I can, it's hard to make but at the same what's, time, what's going it's on. maybe the most visually interesting action trailer yeah. I've ever seen. I'm mm -hmm. loving the production design and the crazy costuming and from the trailer alone, I'd say it's worth paying to see an you know, I don't even care if it doesn't have a plot. I'm just going to see it for the action. See some stuff blow up yeah. and get <laughs> cut, you know? I will say from experience, I was able to have the fortunate uh, of seeing an event screen for oh, this. Really? Um, and I can say that it is a very awesome action movie. The, it, when you're talking about production design, the visual effects on point, I highly recommend people going out to see it. It's one of the best action movies I've seen in a long time, if not, and probably the best action movie this, this It summer. just seems to have so much going for it. The visuals, the actors they have in it, Charlize Theron and uh, Tom, Tom Hardy, Hardy yeah. mm -hmm. taking over the main role. It just really has a lot going for it, and I'm just hearing so many great things about this movie. I think people are I'm sad. That, yeah, sad is, oh, it's not Mel Gibson, but I think you're not going to be disappointed. Tom Hardy brings it just as much as he, he did in the uh, original three and Nicholas Holt is also looking oh. really interesting um, from Warm Bodies, which was a terrific role for him. And yes. so I'm excited to see what he, what he has to show. Yeah, it's, it's looking great. It's going to be out uh, May 15th, so go see it. Next up, we are going to be talking about Jurassic World. It's killing for sport. You got 20,000 people with nowhere to go. We're going after it with everything we got. Jurassic World. So now we're getting into territory. This is another almost, not remake, but almost a reboot. Yeah. And seeing as how the last two Jurassic Park sequels were very just kind of low quality, people have been wanting a, a quality sequel to the, the original for such a long time. And th this movie really could go either way. You just don't know yet. It has a lot going for it. It's Chris Pratt on board. Mm -hmm. uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. Bryce Dallas Howard. It, Colin Trevorrow it looks to be a fine director so far. It really could go either way, though, by the looks of the trailer. I think, yeah, they're playing a lot of nostalgia, but they have said that it is a direct uh, sequel to the original Jurassic Park, which everybody also loves. But unfortunately, you're not going to have that big reveal, that big kind of, you can't, you need to know that there's dinosaurs in it. So. I am on the fence about it, but I think that I'm excited regardless because Chris Pratt, I mean, he's on, on fire now. Everybody's, you know, went from Parks and Recreation and all of a sudden, like, he's this action star. So I think, I think it's going to go off with kind of a bang, seeing it from the trailers and everything. Like, the visuals are great. Of course, Chris, Chris Pratt is amazing. And I feel like it has a nice little plot to us to it. And then from the trailer, you know... Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but when I first saw that trailer in theaters, I was like, I was like well, I don't know. And then they get to the part where this giant dinosaur just jumps out of the water, and I jumped. And I don't know if that's enough to carry a movie, but it was scary as hell. And I know a lot of people were really concerned when they saw Chris Pratt kind of being able to control the, the, the raptors. And that's really a departure from what Jurassic Park was well, originally. That's a little twist to it. Like, don't you want a movie with, with a twist to it? Yeah, yeah. but the, the more and more I'm seeing from this movie, the more it kind of seems to de depart from that original, what it looked like. It looked like he was going to be able to control them. And now, with everything they've released, it just looks like everything turns to chaos, which is probably the best way I think they could have gone about yeah. making this movie. I definitely think you're onto something that would, you know, the raptors are even scarier than the, the T-Rex in the original film, but just, I think that they wanted to take it in a different direction, maybe, that this that kind of new genetically enhanced dinosaur is even scarier than the raptors, so maybe they've learned ways, they're treating them like animals, they've kind of learned ways to domesticate mm -hmm. them, so I think it could be an interesting departure from that, um, but I think it to be de just to be determined at this point. Mm -hmm. All right, that's going to be Jurassic World, and that's going to be out June 12th. All right, last we're going to be talking about Ant-Man, the next Marvel movie to come out. And this one 
it's kind of had a rough going in, in pre-production. They lost their yeah. original director, Edgar Wright, that people were so stoked about. Absolutely. His Edgar original Wright been awesome. His original script apparently was supposed to be very like top notch. But from what I'm seeing, there's it still looks like something that's gonna be very interesting. What do you guys think? I mean, to me, this could go one of two ways. I could see it going the Iron Man route. You've got Paul Rudd in there, the lead role, and he's, he's someone that could easily revitalize his career. But at the same time, we've been so kind of overwhelmed with superhero movies in the last few years that it could very much be a forgettable thing like Thor or, you know, one of those. I think the, the movie it has a, a positivity to it because it is kind of a weird one. It has mm -hmm. its own kind of voice. It's unfortunate Edgar Wright dropped out of the project because I think Marvel does a really good job of bringing really kind of interesting directors to each of the films and kind of diverging each film is a little different, um, especially with Rooster Brothers with Captain America. Really, it was an interesting pick. So uh, if Edgar Wright directing it, I would be more excited, but I think that I'm still excited because of Corey Stoll from House of Cards as uh, yeah, yeah, Yellow Jacket, yeah. along with Paul Rudd and, and, uh, and Michael Douglas in there too. I think it's exciting. I think I, I'm agree with Eric on one of two ways. It's either going to be really awesome. We're going to love the comedy. It's going to be really funny. They're going to play up kind of the ant ant jokes, the small the smallness of it, and yeah. it's going to be really fun. Um, or it could be kind of just another Marvel machine that we might forget about. But I think that this is an interesting uh, interesting superhero that is kind of a weird one to do. But I think it could have success. So like the, the thing that really interests me about this one, that is something that Marvel hasn't done, is this film is supposed to be more of a heist film with uh, Paul Rudd as Scott Lang, which is something I think that could come across very different. I'm kind of excited to see a Marvel take on that, on what that film could be. And it's also uh, gonna be interesting because this character is gonna be, uh, this character is gonna need to wait for a sequel because he's gonna be brought back next Indeed. summer yeah. for yeah. Captain America Civil War. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a lot the of Avengers, all that jazz. There's yeah. a lot of crazy things going on in the Marvel world, so it's always interesting to yes. keep up with what they're doing. Marvel machine. Marvel machine. <laughs> we need to make a Black Widow movie. I love yeah, me some Black yeah, Widow. Definitely. <laughs> All right, that's Ant Man, and that's going to be out July 17th. I'm Ant Man. I know. It wasn't my idea. That's it for us. Uh, a lot of crazy, great looking uh, action movies coming out this summer. I know I can't wait. I've been saving up for the summer for a while. Uh, so for the price of admission, gang, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. See you.